Alright, so my evening routine starts when I get off of work. During this time, with an hour drive, I'll catch up on any podcasts that I've been meaning to listen to. So what you see here are some that I love listening to. Directly from work, I will head into the gym. Now my routine at the gym is pretty much the same every single time. I'll start off with 12 minutes of jumping ropes and then depending on the day it is, I'll focus on some form of weightlifting and then I'll end it off with yoga for 20 to 30 minutes. Once I am done with the gym, I will head home. Now, I did want to say that I am very grateful that I pretty much work 7 to 2.30 if my schedule allows that. However, it definitely fluctuates depending on the week. Once I get home, I will unpack and put everything back to where they belong just because organization is a huge part of my lifestyle. And then from there, I will head into the kitchen. Once I am in the kitchen, I will go ahead and unpack my lunchbox as you see, and then I will get my dinner started. Now, I pretty much meal prep weekly on Sundays and then get my meals ready throughout the week. From there, you can just see that I'm heating up food that I've prepped and then what I enjoy about it is that I don't have to spend time figuring out what I have to eat, putting time cooking my meals throughout the week and that way I can focus on other things. While my food is heating up, I'm going to put all of the dishes away so that when I do the dishes later, it'll be clean. <laughs> From there, I'm going to go ahead and sit down and then eat my dinner. Now during this time, I like to call this my rest or my break, so I'll mindlessly watch YouTube, consume content, and here you'll see these are some of the YouTubers that I absolutely love watching. It'll vary from comedy to fashion to lifestyle, and overall it's a really good mix of everything that I really, really love. So go ahead and check them out if you don't know them, and then also leave any YouTubers that you watch down below because I'm always looking for more. Typically, I don't consume any other form of media besides YouTube because I really, in a way, don't have time because I like to spend my time doing other things. So I'll just sit here and then during this time as well, I will also go on social media, which is really just Twitter. I mean, how else do you laugh? Because that's my way of laughing. So that's what you see here. From there, I will go ahead and prep up my meal for the next day if I go into the office. As you can see here, that is what I'm doing. And then I will also clean the kitchen a little bit and then go ahead and do the dishes. Now, I don't know if there are others out there, but I absolutely love doing the dishes and it's something that I actually find very therapeutic, but I will actually only do the dishes if I have gloves on. So that's a non-negotiable for me. But then once I am done with that, I will go ahead and go back into my room to do work for the rest of my evening before I go to bed. I will head into the bathroom first to shower before I go into my room. Now my shower routine is really simple. I will go in with the following products from shampoo to body wash to face wash. During this time, I love to kind of really let go and take a deep breath and just make that switch from letting the day go and then coming to my night with a clear mind. After the shower, I will go back into my room and then freshen up, moisturize, especially because it's winter. And then I don't know about y'all, but I actually love putting perfume on <laughs> as a part of my skincare shower routine. And then the very last thing I would do is comb my hair. Then I will go to my desk and start work. Now, work will consist of different projects depending on what day it is, but truly this is my favorite time because I get to focus on me. And then I will wrap it all up with planning my day for the next day. And I will pivot and move stuff around if I didn't get to it, but that's really what I spend my evening doing. So I wanted to pop in and kind of talk about <laughs> what I'm doing, but pretty much, this year my book reading goal is 25 books last year i read 27 which is pretty impressive but what i've never done before is actually reflect and analyze my books and i think that's just going to help me with my memory my vocabulary and also it'll really show me what i actually retain after i finish reading a book so that is something new i'm doing this year which honestly i'm super excited for and Right now, I'm currently reading The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stefan... 
Covey, something like that. Very famous book. But the thing is, it's so much information that I'm choosing to take notes as I read it just because there's no way I can remember all of this at the very end, at least in detail, in the way that I would just want to retain this information. And for those who haven't read it yet, I so far recommend this book. I'm like one fourth or like two fourth in, so we'll see. Around nine, I will start getting ready for bed. Because I showered, I will need to blow dry my hair, which is what you see, and then I will head into the bathroom. This year, I started putting a lot more energy and effort into maintaining my teeth routine. So I floss, brush my teeth, and then do mouthwash. It is the full treatment and it is just good to keep your teeth healthy. From there, I will go ahead and go into my skincare. This is my nighttime skincare routine and it's actually quite simple. So face wash, when I shower, I do like, what do they call like a African black soap? Oh, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it up right here. But I use that as my face wash. And then afterwards I go in with this. And this is like a mucus consistency. And I cannot tell you what any of these products do for my skin. <laughs> and why I even have a skincare routine is because my skin broke out super bad. Like I went and bought this box of all the products that was recommended and I just use it and my skin has never looked better so clearly it, it, it works. <laughs> so nonetheless, I'm rambling but after I, I put on that mucus snail stuff, I went in with this, I want to say it's a moisturizer, but it is. So it just looks like this and it just keeps my skin hydrated and then last but not least, I put on this. This to me is like the most important thing and it just makes your skin super glazy and it keeps it hydrated with all the nutrients and during the winter my skin is actually very dry so this just keeps it very moisturized. And then I'm done. From there, I will go ahead and turn off my lights and then turn on my table lamp and then really set my bed for bed. During this time, I'll do one last run through of social media and then I'll read. And then depending on when that is, around 9.30 to 10, I'll get pretty tired and then go to bed. So that is really my evening routine.